so good. <laughs> Hey everyone, Steve from SurfX, thanks for tuning in. Today I wanted to talk about something I think that's probably the most important thing in surfing, um, is getting the right equipment. So this is the first in the series of videos that's going to help you from a complete beginner knowing nothing about surfing, to becoming more of an advanced surfer, and throughout the process really enjoying your surfing. Um, if there's something that you'd like to learn more about each week, then definitely click on the subscribe button today. We're out in the, uh, the Australian sun, out in the elements. As you can see, we're, we're by the water today. So very, very important to stay, stay hydrated and have some um, sunscreen on hand. On this occasion, we've got the, uh, the Finding Dory Edition Cancer Council recommended sunscreen, one of my favorite. Yeah, close up. Disney, great movie. If you haven't seen it, check it out. The old H2O. Cool, cheers. One of the most important things with um, surfing as I said is, is the board if, if you have the right board you've got the right volume um, you're gonna be catching waves you'll be able to get onto the waves you'll be able to stand up and you can be able to develop your skills um, far too often I see people you know at the beach um, they're just you know on, on, on the wrong board I know it's very tempted just to pick a board something like this looks great it's got a cool spray it's really performancey it's something like a pro surf would ride um, but to begin with, it's really, it's going to be impossible to develop your surf skills if you're a beginner. Um, so something like this, which we, we run in our surf school, look, it's a, um, it's a G board, it's, you know, the market leader in surfboards for beginners. Um, you're going to be able to paddle for waves, you're going to be able to stand up with confidence, it's going to allow you to progress your skills much quicker. And it's something I'd, I'd recommend any beginner to jump onto. This would be perfect for a beginner who's my height, you know, about 78 kilograms. As your weight and height goes up, the length of the board and the volume goes up. If someone's a bit shorter, a bit lighter, then we might go to like an eight foot, or if it's a young kid, maybe even a seven six. This is about an eight six. I'm, I'm, I'm six foot, so you can see the contrast in height. This board here's a five eight. It's, it's designed for small, clean waves. Again, I wouldn't even be comparing these boards. I'm just probably pointing out, look, it's not about looking at a board shape and seeing other board looks great. It's about functionality. It's a foam construction. Um, they've put a lot of thought into how they've um, actually developed the core of this as well. So if you do dint it or you get a puncture, it's not going to leak. You don't even need to repair it. Um, they're very hard boards to damage. Like we've, we've run this board quite a few, um, like a lot of lessons. And you can see it stood up very well. And in terms of, um, as a beginner, you don't want to be constantly repairing your board. A glass board can do a lot of damage too. If it hits you in the head, something like this is a lot more forgiving. The fins as well, you can see they're flexible. They're very hard fins to damage, but as I said to begin with, if, you, if the glass fin hits you um, or you land on it, you, you're probably going to be having, getting stitches, which when I, um, when I began surfing, uh, I had plenty of stitches back in my day from getting glass fins in the leg and face and all sorts of places. So um, as a kid, so starting off one of these is definitely a good idea. The, very wide all the way through, all the way through to the nose. It gives you much more stability for paddling when you stand up. The board is extremely stable. Um, paddling as well, it's not going to be rocking from side to side, which um, allows you to get a lot more momentum when you're paddling. But also when you're um, when you're looking to catch a wave and, and generate speed, um, you want a board to be stable. Whereas something like this, paddling, it's going to be rocking all over the place. You really need to be engaging your core. You really need to be you know, in the right spot of the wave when you take off. With something like this, you can take off early, you can take off late, you can take off in the white water. Um, so many different parts of the wave you can ride on a board like this. With something like this, you really need to be in the open green face. And again, look, it's a great board for more an experienced advanced surfer. Um, but something like this is really going to help you develop your surfing, catch a lot more waves. The more waves you're catching, the more you're standing up, the more your skills are going to develop, and the more you're going to improve, and then the quicker you can hopefully one day get, get to a board like this. One of the other things you need for a surfboard is a leg rope. You shouldn't use this as a, like a life-saving device. You should never rely on a leg rope. I'd recommend however far you're surfing from the beach, you should be able to swim at least you know two to three, four times that distance. You should never be relying on a leg rope solely to be able to, um, as a safety device. This is to stop your board going loose and, and you know, hitting swimmers or other surfers in the water. 
build up. So very mindful to uh, to have a leg rope on board and you know, really show courtesy to other people that you're not going to um, be taking them out with a board. Because even though this is foam, if this goes loose, um, hits a kid or someone that can really you know, could hurt. I'd recommend maybe joining a surf school, whether it's us in Melbourne, SurfX, or wherever you're travelling, get a go to an accredited surf school. If you want to develop your surfing, you want to improve, definitely important to get on the right board because at the end of the day, if you're not catching waves, um, you're not standing up, you're not going to be developing your skills. So as, as you start riding waves, you can turn the board, you can catch waves, um, then it's maybe time to go back to the surf shop, you know, maybe take it down a few inches, um, maybe step up to like a glass board or an epoxy board um, with some slightly different dimensions and um, it's definitely the best approach to take. Thanks for watching. Hope you found this video helpful. If it was, please click on the subscribe button for more upcoming videos. Alright, it's going to be hot, JC. It's swing time, mate.